It's pissing it down. Welcome back to the Names Nico channel, ladies and gentlemen. I'm using a fancy microphone. I've got a fancy cameraman with me here today. Um, it is literally pissing it down. I don't know if you can show them the sky, but it's literally god awful. But uh, we're just going to get through this. First of all, thank you to Anzio for letting us use your um, site. Uh, yeah, thanks to them. So, what have I got in front of me? I have in front of me right now my two loadouts, okay? Uh, one is HPA and one is AEG. One is desert, one's kind of this mixture. One's kind of this mixture between uh, multicam and obviously the black kind of SES style kind of loadout. And basically, I'm just going to run you through what's going on while it's getting absolutely drenched. Why not, eh? Why not? So, shall we start with, shall we start with the guns? What do you think? Oh, it's drenched. So we've got the uh, Mark 18 from Filex here. Filex is a company from Germany that have that well that do like upgraded Milsim guns. Uh, it's an absolute beast. Can't wait to do some gameplays with this. Uh, Eotech sight, a little stubby grip, surefire suppressor. Is that an actually right No, no, <laughs> no, no. This is like a wish one. Um, and also as well, if people are wondering, fake pet box at my scope cam and face cam goes in. That's how you, obviously the videos are made. You can see my face and the people I'm shooting, okay? Obviously, it's kind of like Navy SEAL looking-esque, you know, Picatinny quad rail. Also got a little loop for a sling as well. Um, just a kind of basic desert stock, but I like it. What do you think about it? I think it looks sick, man. It's yeah? A, it's like a really clean Mark 18 build, um, and I, I love a clean Mark 18 build. There we go. So I was thinking about spraying it, as I know. You're not. Oh, see, no. I don't know, man. I, I'm so torn because yeah. I've got a Mark 18 and yeah. I keep I tell you what, in the comment down below, do you spray this or is it a big no go? All right, we'll put, we'll put it back. Someone's playing music down there, that's, that's good. All right, okay. So that's from Filex, bad agency. Next, we've got another Mark 18 from Wolverine. So this is basically our custom paint job as well. Feast your eyes on that custom paint job done by Jack from uh, the Eagle Lot. Gorgeous. I've actually just had it upgraded. I've got a, ma a max hop up unit in it now and a, um, a max trigger. I think it's got a ma maple leaf bucking in it as well. Um, so this is my like ultimate stealth gun. This is the flanking machine. It's basically a fully automatic sniper rifle. And we're going to talk about the advantages of AG and HPA, but I love this thing, man. It's just, it's just a god gun, man. This is, I can't wait to make some gameplays of this. So uh, pretty self-explanatory to be honest. This is actually a custom carbon fiber suppressor that makes it even quieter than it already is. Uh, Holosun T1, this is the Wraith stock and just a little angled foregrip, love that. And uh, we've also got the Sentry Wrap from Deadly Customs and this, this is actually really useful for when my cables go into the cameras, it's just good for like cable management so I, I would love these in every single one of my guns, they're actually really gleaming. I need to get some of them, they're so tidy. Yeah they're really good, also it's off like torches as well, you've got to put a press hole underneath it. Really good, deadly customs. I do have a, actually have a discount, Nico 10, I believe. I'll double check that. Know, yeah, I know, I know. Okay. Oh, also, as well, um, the B A D L R from Olight, I want to say. Um, it's basically an LLM laser light module. Really, really good, really bright as well. And you can just flick it on with your thumb there. It's really, it's actually out of bat battery right now, but you can just flick it on with your thumb there. Really, really good. And then again, I've got another brain exploder pet box in there for scope cam, face cam. I have this on all of my guns. It's just neat, it's tidy and hides the cameras. When I'm feeling sneaky, I want to use the HPA because it doesn't whine. When you shoot it, it doesn't go wah, 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 right? So you can literally just sneak up on entire teams on your own. This is the sneaky assassin uh, toy riff. Hello, mate. Do you mind if you just turn that music down just a little bit? Cheers, pal. Right, side on. I've had this for years. And I enjoyed it that much. It's, it's just a Vorsk high capper, but it's honestly so clean and it shoots really precise with um, an Olight PL Pro 2 Valkyrie on a really bright torch. Really, it's a really yeah, bright yeah, torch. You also, can see that in daylight. I think yeah, also, bright. also strobes as well. The thing is with YouTube, I don't know if we can strobe people anymore. I mean, we sort of just did. Um... I mean, directly, like, I don't I, like you know, if you get someone like an apoplectic fit in it and then. YouTube's like, oh, your, your content's dangerous, la la. Do you know what I mean? Like, this, this is the world we're in now. This is the world that we're in now. You know, you know this. You know this. So this is one of my favourite pistols. I'm going to introduce it back into my kit, which leads me on very nicely to my Deadly Customs shooter belt. Now, this is one of the original ones uh, that they, they did. They now have a, a 2.0 out, uh, a new shooter belt. Really cool. What's the difference between the old one and the new one? It's like laser cut, a more low profile. As you can see, this one's not laser cut. Uh, yeah, just get, just get yeah. 
but pretty standard you can see obviously that just holsters um the high copper leg retention strap and admin pouch just for like maybe i should actually buy it like a a medic kit or something that'll probably look a bit more gooch all right so this is my hpa setup that i like uh, to run so when i'm in hpa i'll use this novich plate carrier now novich doesn't pay me to to run it i just really like how lightweight it is but i'm feeling a change so maybe comment down below what, what you'd like to see me run plate carrier wise that could holster uh hpa tank as you can see this is my hpa tank uh, a vulcan 0 0.8 liter 207 bar 48 ci 3000 psi for people who want to know uh, yeah i mean i do <laughs> I do see in the comments sometimes people ask me all these kind of crazy questions, so I just thought I'd... Uh, we've got a storm regulator from Wolverine. Shout out Wolverine. Novich plate carrier here. Uh, we've got the EPM, EPM 2s, not 1s. These hold 250 rounds uh, per mag. Just a crazy amount of ammunition for one dude, which is awesome if you want to like, kill loads of people, right? I mean, uh, not kill people. Um, si simulated... Murder. No, I don't, I don't know what to call it. Um, airsofting, just airsofting in general, right? Airsofting in general. Uh, now, there, there is some little Gucci bits going on, going on this, I'll explain. So these are actually Warrior Assault System M4 pouches. And what a lot of people don't know about these uh, elasticated pou pouches is they have, like, a rubberized insert here. So when you pull like this, if someone's trying to take it off you, it's actually a lot harder to pull away from than when you'd pull it towards yourself which is a really clever invention, because obviously at IRL, someone was trying to pull a mag off you, it rubs against the rubber inside, it's a lot harder to pull the magazine out, which is such a clever little idea, you know what I mean? It rubs against the rubber. It rubs against the rubber, yeah. Don't guess us. <laughs> right, the chat, okay. will love it, the chat will love it. <laughs> the chat will love it. Right, so obviously we've got the Stalo Move Fast Patch, guys. We're making this to a company and a brand, uh, and this is just the start of it. Uh, there's always going to be new patches available, so watch out for that. Radio Kydex pouch, let's call this. Deadly Customs. Um, yeah, this is Deadly Customs. I'll be honest with you though, I really hate running comms because I just like to have my natural audio. Do you know what I mean? Um, also from Deadly Customs, we've got these uh, Tectonic Innovations bangers because we can't say the G word. Banger, Deadly, Deadly Customs banger holsters. And they're on Malice Clips. And I've got two of those for under each armpit, right? Because when, obviously when you stacked up against a wall and let's say the doorway's there, it's just, boom, instantly be able to do that. And if the doorway's there, boom, instantly be able to be aggressive that side too. Also, what's cool about this is I've got these, like, Mark V holsters as well from Deadly Customs. This is the RAS system. And it's just a really clever little invention, really. It goes behind your M4 pouches, and you can just put Mark Vs in there, because obviously you don't want to be yeeting tremors or quakes, you know, 10, 20 metres over your head. So I like to carry Mark Vs as well, just to... For those kind of like long attacks where people hide in mind cover and you can't obviously. Just when you gotta eat, man. Yeah, when you gotta eat it, exactly. Scrap pouch, plus ten percent tactical coolness. Now they're really good just for admin. Really good for anything admin wise. Honestly, they're like a a fanny pouch, dumb pouch. They're just they're really awesome to be honest. Do you know what I use mine for? Mm. Snacks. Snacks. Snack pouch. Love that. Then on the back, uh, shout out to JBG. On the back. This is a Warrior helmet carrier, but I also use that for the HPA. Uh, any more questions, let me know in the comments. I think I've covered everything there to the best of my ability. What do you think of the, the Warrior plate carriers? So I'm running one of them at the moment. Do you know what? I used to run a Warrior plate carrier, and then I changed the Novich one, and the, the weight difference is crazy. But some people like to feel the real steel weight. And then, for me, I like, you know, just being lighter so I can run faster and last longer and... All that good stuff. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? All right, so, and then obviously we, we spoke about the mags. So this is, this boiler suit, by the way, that looks very sass like which it's obviously not. I got this off Amazon for like 15 quid. Steel? Really good. It's an absolute steal. Um, these are also really revolutionary in my opinion. This is from MB Tactical. Their balaclavas are, are, are just insane. And also as well, the... A lot of ventilation to let your head breathe and it's like they're kind of like underwear vibes as well like can you feel feel this bit here where my thumb is i feel like that oh man that's soft it's soft isn't it really that, nice that is softer than my underwear <laughs> there you go there you go 
So I only run MB Tactical Balclavas. Right, now let's go to boots. Okay, so boots. Um, <coughs> these are completely waterproof, which is actually kind of good for the... Because it's pissing it down right now. These are called Akus. I knew about these in the army. Um, they're just alley, to be honest. And I've actually taken out the soles. They're very, like, ninja-like boots, completely waterproof. And they're, they're really light. They're so light. So I really enjoy them. And they look good with black kit. All right, shall we go to my lid? Because... The cool thing about my lid is it's designed so it goes well with pretty much any kit. As you can see, it's got this kind of a blend of different uh, camos, which kind of then go into different kits, right? Because with me making videos, it's really important that uh, my setup for my head is kind of like um, a cameraman stability kind of setup, if that makes sense, right? But if anyone has any setups like caps or jungle hats that they think is good for recording, let me know because sometimes... I'm like, damn, I wish I didn't have a helmet on. Like, when we was in South Africa, <sighs> so hot, bro. I just brought um, a cap of uh, AliExpress. AliExpress is the like, one. How much it cost you? Like, six quid. Six quid? Wow. It seems decent. You're decent. <laughs> right, so, uh, also from MB Tactical. Let me get close to this. This is, this is really cool. I won't come too close because I don't want you to knock anything over. Um, this obviously just molds to your jawline underneath the balaclava. But the cool thing about this is, is the more that you sweat, the smart rubber that surrounds this like chicken mesh wire gets more sticky to your skin, which is a really clever idea. So it's designed, the more you sweat, the more it sticks to your face. Really clever. That's why it's called smart rubber. I've been thinking about picking one of them up. Now. Oh, the I'm, gleam, the I'm gleaming. I'm going to sell to my ship a minute. Um, mm. And I just find it muffles my voice too much. I just find the Delta mic because they look really chunky monkey on you. I like to look like slim, slender and slimline and all that kind of good jazz, right? And also as well, when you pull up your rifle to aim, you don't... It, like, you know with like the the face guards that you get off Amazon that are just hideously huge? When you aim with them, they kind of move to the left, right, because of the stock of the gun. You don't get any of that with these, so I really love them. I've, I've not... Basically, I've never changed them since using them, so... How long have you had it? Coming up to like a year, I reckon, a year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, my kit is getting soaked, by the way. Look at, look at the outline of the bag. The commitment. Commitment. <laughs> right, okay, so the lid. This is from Hig Operator off eBay. Uh, it, it comes all pre-sprayed up, which is really cool, but I'll tell you about the bits that I put on. Obviously, the GoPro Hero 11. I can dive more into how to use this in hot and cold climates if you want to let me know in the comments uh, i got two helmet covers on ntp and multicam black because i think they blend really cool together it looks a bit different than everyone else and like i said they blend into into the two different kits really well uh, there's two there's two helmet covers yeah <laughs> what why are you judging me I'm not, I'm all right, just, I'm <laughs> right. It's, it's kind of like a mirage of all different camos uh then you got this kind of like this actually came sprayed from hig operator these brackets did like that i've got the contact fours now there's an although they do look cool there's multiple reasons why i like these they keep my helmet stable so my gopro is always at the right angle for recording videos you know it's not like up here or angled mad mad angles do you know what i mean but also as well it grants access to my natural audio, whereas palters kind of cover your ear, and then you, you know, when you put a shell to your ear and you can hear the sea. That's what palters did for me, to be honest. Well, you can hear the sea. Yeah, the sea. Yeah. Also, obviously, the reason why they're called contact fours is that you can run earbuds, and then you can run a mouthpiece that comes off this, and you can connect it up to a radio and run comms as well. So they're a gle gleaming bit of kit, to be honest. Agilite helmet. That's not cover though, is it? Bracket, whatever you want to call this. This is from Agilite. And it it's, uh, holds the batteries that connect to my GoPro. If you run MVGs, uh, you can put MVG batteries in the back of there. Um, so, yeah, I, I just like it. It's pretty cool. Got my Giza Garrison Pirate Skull riding the flag patch. Just kind of like Stalo move fast vibes. Also got the GGCT, which stands for Giza Garrison Content Team, for all the boys that are on my team, just help me shoot videos and all that good stuff. Uh, have I missed anything? MVG GoPro adapt adapter, you could say. Um, I think that's about it for the for the lid. Well, that's padding inside. Have you got custom padding, or is it? No, that actually came with the, that actually came with the helmet. To be fair, that came with the helmet. Pretty solid, to be honest. Really com comfy. It is really comfy, to be fair. It was it was worth the investment. Um, but you do realise, Nico, you're gonna have to put all your kit on after. Yeah. I know, and it's drenched as well. The things you do for content creation.
Those trousers are. Oh, it's gonna lovely. be it's gonna be hideous. Right, okay, next. We know what's coming next. The biggest sponsor of the channel, Block, and for a good reason. Um, they've completely changed the game. So this is the gasket version, which I'll show you guys. But let me explain why they've changed the game. Okay. So their lenses are chemically baked with anti-fog, so you won't fog up, right? Whereas other brands, they're on a conveyor belt, they get dipped in anti-fog, and then they claim they're anti-fog, and then three days it wears off, and the eye is fogging up. These lenses, they are baked in anti-fog, right? So it's just right, and they've patented the the technique as well, so no other company can copy them. So yeah, they're just in their own lane, absolutely smashing it. So this is the gasket that I've got on for the people that are bothered about full seal. Uh, you know, so obviously no BBs can get in like any crazy holes or anything like that. I'm actually going to be testing them out uh, in a gameplay, but I like the idea, but I've always just used normal iPro and not really been bothered anyway. But we'll test this out. Uh, it feels very comfortable on the face, to be honest. But yeah, you want a pair NN10, 10% off. I need to get me some blocks. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get you some blocks. I need some blocks. So bad. <laughs> They're really good. Everyone says that. Everyone in South Africa wants, wants them now. People in the UK are starting to wise up to them. So that's the gasket version. And as you can see, I just brought the, the different ones, the clear lens. The summer loadout. I've been, fa I've been fancying chest rigs lately, uh, and I'm actually designing my own with this SPS guy. Uh, I can't really say too much, but that's about all I'm going to tell you guys. I'm very excited for that. So we've got... Uh, the desert balaclava from MB Tactical and it matches the slate up perfect. So we've got here, this is a, a desert DPM Iraq early Afghan styly top. Uh, actually I got this inspiration from Hades, shout out Hades, and I just ripped the arms off because it's been absolutely roasted in England. I know you wouldn't think it now but it's been roasted. I mean it's hot today man. It's yeah it's like muggy isn't it? Yeah. Well it's decided to piss it down on the day that we want to go and do Anyway, so <clears throat> we ripped off, I've ripped off the arms and that's like a tank top because when it's really hot I just love to be free and all that Gucci stuff and it, it really blends in with the rest of the kit. This is a, a Halicon chest rig which is now drawer wrench also. A Halicon chest rig, uh, my friend Mr. Prent actually recommended this and it's, it's really lightweight and I just love the, the feeling of not running a tank. I switch between, obviously HPA you have to run a tank. But when I don't want to run a tank, I want to be as lightweight as possible. So I'll go from like wearing all the kit to minimalistic as possible. And I love just kind of flowing between the two. Right? You like that? You like that? Uh, you like that? You like that movement? <laughs> right, so we've got the Stay Lumi Fast Patch on, obviously, guys. My motto. I've uh, got the brand tattooed on me as well. Just like, kind of like, you know, life. You need to like stay low and move fast. Dodge all the bullshit. You know what I mean? So that's kind of like my saying. Um, and... This, this chest rig is, is gleaming. It's literally got pouches for pouches and just pouches. Here at the front is basically what you've got on the uh, plate carrier there. And I've got a mini EPM2 in there. These are gleaming, these are. I think these are ace. They're 120 round, are Yeah, they? no, 175? I could, I could be wrong, I could be wrong, I could be wrong. And then I've got EPM2s, the big ones, which are 250, all here. Uh, you've got your pistol pouches. It's really cool. I really like it, to be honest. It's also got kind of like these little toggles, we're going to call these. Underneath it, you could put like a Mark V in if you wanted to as well. For when you've got to yeet. Yeah, when you've got to yeet, exactly. When you've got to yeet it. I actually re I'm really fond of this chest rig. I really enjoy it. Okay, trousers, which I get a lot of questions about, which are actually, they've been, they're pissed right now, so they're a different colour, but they kind of match the, the top. These are Gorka 5s. Neep as these are, they're so good. They just don't fall out, and this is the only bit of cry thing that I've actually got, and I can see why people buy cry because these just don't fall out. Where I've ran knee pads and so many different trousers before, and they always fall out when you're doing like crazy airsoft I mean, stuff. I've got some that fall out when I walk. Yeah, that's that's no bueno. You know, like we're trying to we're trying to stay low, move fast, simulated murder. <laughs> watch watch this video and I'll get monetized. <laughs> anyway. Onto the boots, these <coughs> are the lower Zephyrs. Uh, I think these are really popular throughout the military community and airsoft. Uh, these are also really, I like lightweight things. These are super lightweight. And I would say they're probably more comfy than the Akus. <laughs> I know, I'm a, I'm a bit like, oh, should I have said that? I can tell you what they're definitely more comfortable than. What? Magnums. 
Magnums. Oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I honestly rate these. If I was going to rate these boots, honestly, I'd give them a solid nine out of ten. They even look cool. Do you not think they look quite cool too? Nine out of ten. I'd say the Akus are like visually a ten out of ten, but comfort-wise, like eight out of ten. Where these are like a nine out of ten comfort-wise. These are really comfy boots. So yeah, that's that's pretty much. I think I've covered all the kit. The, um, unless you think I've missed anything. You're you're soaked, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, as soaked as those trousers. No. Oh, I've got to put it all on now as well. Fuck. I forgot to mention, by the way. If any of you are Wolverine fans from America, you can now use Nico Twenty Three, and you can get a discount on shipping. That's Nico Twenty Three. Oh, is this your new Firelax Mark Eighteen? Yeah. Nice. This isn't is it? cool. <laughs> <laughs> We forgot about the gloves. So, uh. Sorry, sorry, we forgot about the gloves. We forgot about the gloves. We no, forgot no, about the gloves. You forgot about the gloves. Okay, I forgot about the gloves. <laughs> so, with the black kit, obviously, I run the pigs. Everyone in the airsoft scene knows about pigs. Well, you think you'd know about pigs. Uh, the reason why I like pigs so much is the dexterity is amazing. They're really thin. I don't like thick contact gloves. I like to be able to feel the magazines when I'm changing or if these go to a patch that I can't see, I want full dexterity. Now the reason why I chopped the fingers off is because these are the most dexterous yeah, good. <laughs> fingers, <laughs> thumbs and fingers, right? So that's why I chopped these off because I, I want to feel exactly what I'm doing, like popping grenades, smoke grenades, magazines, picking my nose, anything, right? I need to be able to feel what I'm doing. Right, and if I'm in my desert kit, I like these impacts because they're kind of alley and kind of in your face. And I've also cut off the thumb and the dexterity fingers. So yeah, these are mechanic impacts and these are black. Pig contact gloves. Done. Soggy! I'm gonna try this first. Rats. Oh, rats. That is, that is honking, that. Nico's gonna get trench foot from that. <laughs> <laughs> Gore-Tex shoes never flew in wet Solomon vibes them and know they dead TM416 Delta Never CQB wanna blow their head Chamber throwing death